Meanwhile, in the morning time, the Adaphosaurus heard us came, and the babies have arrived to drink. It's a sandwich. And he ruined it. They drink, and the adults arrive too. It's a wonderful day, but one is missing. And guess who that one is? The Adaphosaurus who invaded at Ardometrodon's nesting ground. But... <sighs> the dinosaurs... Well, they're not dinosaurs, but really. But they're drinking. And they love food. A lot. But something's wrong. One of the babies has just slipped in. Everyone goes out of the water hole immediately, sensing something's not right. As a matter of fact, something's very wrong. Now anything that's close to the water's edge will slip in. The water has made the mud slippery. And later in the day, our Dimetrodon seems to come take a break. It's a risk to leave her eggs. Unattended. Over there, the baby Adaphosaurus and the, f the rest of the herd sleep. It's dried up. It's only getting smaller and smaller and smaller. The Dimetrodon runs over as soon as it sees the water. She gets a nice, nice long sip. And so far, it's not even alerted anybody around in the area. It has to be silent. But it's bathing in it. He's done now. The mud isn't as slippery, so it did so he didn't she didn't fall in. But she runs back to her nest as fast as possible and crash lands another dimetrodon shows up the female wakes up she knows what time it is They're waiting for the eggs to hatch. Dimetrodon can be cannibals. That's about to be demonstrated here. The babies start to hatch and go out in an unknown world. They must fight for their lives and struggle. The baby, the first one, walks out and instinctively knows what to do. He runs, but not for long. Second one emerges from the nest. They're all waiting for the others, because they want to stick together. The mother runs towards the babies. The babies want to run, and they do. They run as fast as they possibly can. They run down and down and down and down and down. One of the babies runs all the way to the tree. The other babies are just oblivious of what's going on. One of the adults cannibalizes the baby. It's brutal. She kills him and starts eating him. The second Dimetrodon emerges and attacks the other one. But the other one is very smart and digs himself under the sand. The Dimetrodon can't find him. What's up?
but the Demetrodon slipped. The mother runs after the baby. The baby climbs up the tree. He tries to climb up this gigantic thing. The mother's only just a few seconds behind. Not even a second. He climbs up. And almost makes it. By that, I mean barely. He hangs on. The mother tries to climb. The she is an adult. Being much heavier, she can't climb. She starts getting all mad. And dust just flies everywhere. She is so upset. She keeps on trying to get up there, but she can't. The baby is safe. For now. It has to find food, so it has to retreat to the ground somehow. Without the mother, its own mother, eating it. The mother decides to eat the dead Dimetrodon. As one of the Dimetrodon eats one of the other Dimetrodons, the baby, the baby comes out of hiding. And he runs. He runs a long ways. And makes it out and just runs. He takes a sip of water, his first sip of water in his life. And he jumps in. Started by the noise, one of the adult Adaphosauruses comes to take a drink of water. This is just a little bit too much. The baby Dimetrodon can be seen. It's sail, its sail sticking up. It attacks the adult. It's impossible for a baby to kill it. But there's one reason why it can't kill it. The baby. The adult. The adult is weak. It's extremely weak. Old and is suffering from a disease. Although the disease cannot be treated, uh, well, not be passed on. Meanwhile, back up in the tree, a little tree climbing fella seems to think that now it's a safe time to come down. He runs, runs, and is just barely holding on. He finally climbs down more and plays dead. More Dimetrodon soon arrive. Just two more. No, three more. More Dimetrodon don't arrive. Out of nowhere, come the babies. No, wait a minute. They're not the babies. This is not even Dimetrodon. They're Daphosaurus. And this is the entire herd. Tons of little babies and tons of little uncles and aunts and everything. It is a wonderful thing. More babies. Yay for babies. More and more appear. And... It seems like we are almost at the end, but there's just one more.